Winter here. <laughs> You're a butt. Hello, everybody. Winter here, and I am with Poet, and he's a butt. And we are on the Time Shot server. It's Friday, which means Q and A Friday. I almost did Let's Play Saturday, which means Bam <laughs> Q and A Friday. You got me all flustered. Yep, that's <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> So it's been a very long time since I did a Q&A Friday because uh, I've been recording other things instead, but figured it's time. I haven't done Q&A Friday since that lovely castle I built. On yeah, top of the my castle house. that was, I think that your building is improving. Are you climbing on top of the stable? Never mind all those other builds that happen to be symmetrical and sensical build block types. I really like that you're bold and gutsy and willing to use netherrack in such a fashionable way. Yes. It's such a good job I did. I know. <laughs> That's us potatoes. Carrots. You don't have to convince me you did a good job. I, I can see it. Free fish. There's cooked fish in there. Boop. Oh, that well's not... <laughs> That well's not as deep as I thought it would be. <laughs> okay, so let's get to the questions. The first question has Fago Poet tried Fago Pop yet, and what was his reaction to the various flavors? Mm -hmm. well, we actually did record him drinking Red Pop, and his reaction was... It tasted like cough medicine, and why would people like drinking cough medicine? There you go. He only tried uh, cream soda. Otherwise, he didn't try any of the other flavors. Yet. Right. Yeah. A cream soda tasted like that was the other most popular question, though, was have, I, have you tried the cream soda? So I guess it's maybe a popular. Th I don't know. But it tasted like every other cream soda I've ever had in my life. Yeah. So. Most of the other flavors are going to be like similar. Like they have a cola yeah. and they have a Sprite like flavor and it's it's going to taste. But like the unique ones are things like uh, the Red Pop, Rock and Rye. I think Rock and Rye is more like Dr. Pepper. Um, Wait, someone... Someone came here to this farm and took the tree and, and didn't, didn't replant, replant and then took the cacti and didn't replant either. That's rude. Rude. That is so rude. Hashtags and all with the rudeness. Here's involved. a sapling. I will plant a sapling. I will plant I a sapling. For cacti. Oh, maybe I'll plant a dark oak sapling. I know where there's cactus. There we go. Huck's place, there's cactus. No, no, no. I don't have to go that far. Oh. Um, Kathleen Mad Magic says, do you like guys like chocolate chip pancakes? Yeah. I do. Next question. I like Lightning banana. Round. Actually, my favorite pancakes are banana pancakes. My favorite pancakes are just blueberry pancakes. I do like blueberry. Blueberry's classic. Buttermilk only. Let me Buttermilk. get that. Yeah. Yeah. If I had a choice, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to turn down a pancake, but no, but if I had a choice, buttermilk for sure. Buttermilk pancakes, big fluffy buttermilk pancakes. Yep. Um, the Phantom Rider asks, "Can you speak another language? And if so, what other languages can you speak?" Do you know the trick to making good pancakes? <laughs> We're in another question now. What's the trick to making good pancakes? To not whisk them too much. Not fluff them. Exactly. Really? I'm going to go in the other. Opposite nether. of what you would think. Really? I would always yep. think to fluff them up. And yes, I speak Canadian. <laughs> you also can speak Japanese. I'm also, I'm thinking of learning how to speak Hucklish, though. Hucklish? Yeah. Are you going to answer any of these questions seriously? I am answering these <laughs> seriously. <What are> you <laughs> You're such a butt. You do speak Japanese, though. I I do, or at least I could say I did. You did? I spoke it very well like five or six years ago, let's say. Okay. Like five or six years ago, if you were to start a conversation with me in Japanese, I'd probably be able to... Follow along. Get it and reply even, but now I can very, very barely read it and I can only understand like the gist of what you're talking about and replying would be impossible. It's like one of those things where if you just you don't use it for five or six years, you're going to forget it. And I okay. have. So. Um, I do not really speak another language. I can understand some Spanish and that's about it. 
I can pronounce most Spanish words I see. And uh, when I was a babe, I used to speak French. You know? Well, yeah, Canadian. Yeah. And we learned how to speak French in school. So. And I was in an immersion school, which is both French and English. Immersed, I guess. Immersive. So, yeah. So the immersion school was uh, every single announcement would be done both in English and in French, for example. Man, announcements must have taken forever. Yeah, they did. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> it's pretty pretty well they did. Um, but it was kind of good because you got, um, well, both, both you languages. Got to learn, yeah. <laughs> yep. And I, I grew up in a very French community. The community had a French name. In fact, I'm still living in a very French community, but... Yeah, that's another one where because I haven't speaking spoken speaking speaked because <laughs> I haven't speaked French in a long time. Speaked because I haven't done that in a long time. It's another one of those things where even if you're immersed in it all the time, I've completely like it's it's gone now. You, you could, just don't know how. No, it's kind of the same though. Where if someone speaks to me in French, I could probably tell what they're talking about. But anyway. Yep. I do not speak another language, though. Where'd you go? I'm in the nether. I'm working on my tunnel. Oh. I'm talking to you. Because <clears throat> I want to finish this tunnel so I can get back to my work in my area. But yeah, um, I, would, I would definitely love to speak hit hucklish, hucklish, which is a combination of lazy and slang. <laughs> 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 this is a language now. Yep. Okay. <laughs> There's a dictionary being developed. Okay, so um, let me scroll down and see if I can find another question. Um, Luis Sal Pinheiro Gomez asks, "How you think? Will, who do you think will win in a death battle, King Kong or Indominus Rex?" King Kong. King Kong. Why? Because he's like the size of the Empire State Building. Practically, he's huge. Yeah, but didn't they make those dinosaurs pretty big, though? And No, no, no. You know what? Indominus Rex was still, I think, smaller than a Giganotosaurus. I think. Dinosaur geeks are going to hate. But <laughs> I think it was not... It was pretty big, according to their records on the movie, but not like... Not, not like Empire State Building. It's not Godzilla-like scale True. yet. You know. King Kong wasn't as tall as the Empire State Building. He climbed on top, on top of it and hung off that spire. Oh, but he fought Godzilla and was the same size as him in the movie. Yeah, in that movie. Yeah, well... God, well, in the original I mean, King Kong Indominus movie... Rex is a movie, too. In the original movie with King Kong, King Kong wasn't that big. Indominus yeah, Rex was but, bigger. Yeah, but... We're okay, well, let's has, talk... Let's he doesn't talk have King the Kong. teeth. King Kong from the Jack Black movie and and Indominus Rex. I still think King Kong would win. See, I don't know, because Indominus Rex has those teeth. I mean, King Kong's got the beefy strength, but um, yeah. he's uh, he doesn't have... I mean, he can't go... What That dinosaur could like go invisible. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would probably mess King Kong up yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, and, you know, he's stealthy and smart, and I just think he would tear King Kong up. I think Kong King up. Kong would be smarter... I'll be honest. Okay, I gotta get out. And I think that they lots. really overscaled his intelligence, the Indominus Rex. Well, I know, but I think so too. I don't think you, you know, obviously. Gave him a deep understanding of humanity. <laughs> He's a, a giant reptile. <laughs> Give me a break. Okay, I have to go out okay. there. I'll go. What are you doing? I'm going out there. We don't want to go there because that's where I gotta put a place to lock. Now I have to get another block. Do you have that stair? The stair uh, that you dropped into the. <sighs> um, let me see. Question, question, question. I still think King Kong. I still think Indominus Rex would win. Haters gonna hate. Okay, Buttery Kittens asks, if you would die in a week, what would you do in that time you had left? Wonder why people are buttering kittens. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
If I had a week left to live, oh my gosh, that would be so sad. What would you do in that week left? Yeah. I'd probably... Huh. <laughs> as long as I'm with you, I'd be fine. Aw. That would be the goal. And then after that, it doesn't matter. The whole week could go by. It would be sad. Yeah, I'd probably spend like, it with, with Poet and my kids. But I mean, like, if you're thinking, like, yeah, what's your goal in life? There's that That is my goal in life, so. If you see the gas, please, like, say something. Don't let it shoot me off this dirt. There's a gas? Yeah, you don't hear it? <laughs> I hear this guy. Hi. Hi. Don't! <laughs> I don't want to die out here. I've got all my good stuff on me. You wouldn't die. Oh, yeah, you would. Yeah, I would. Do you think we can make that jump if we fell? Even my feather falling boots wouldn't save me. I wonder. Don't I wonder. No. Come no, no. Try. No, I'm almost out of blocks. Crap. I got some. Here you go. Iron blocks? That's all I've got. <gasps> <laughs> my life just flashed before my eyes. <laughs> I saw you like run to the, the very corner and then just go. <laughs> <laughs> this is so dangerous. Okay, I'm heading back now. <laughs> Can you go back to that chest? I think there's another pile of dirt in that chest. Get by in there. there. <laughs> you just... <laughs> that moment when you mean to hold shift and hold <laughs> hit the sprint key instead. Uh... Okay, next question. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh... Lego Man asks, if you had to ban someone from Time Shot who is still Jake. a member, who, Jake. <laughs> okay, Flowery Sprout asks, how do you, okay, how do you and Poet feel about peeps asking you all these personal questions about our relationship? What is that up there? Oh, it's a magma slime. I'll get it. How do you feel? I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. It's like we don't have to answer anything that's too personal. No, nobody's no. forcing us to answer. No, I mean, and it's not like anything. It's not like we've got anything to hide. Right. It's not like anything's been asked like way too personal either. No, it's honestly, like, it's it's been pretty tame. I mean, I think that we probably both have privacy for certain things, but I mean, it's not like we're we are YouTubers. Our job right. is to be out in the open with everything. I mean, so, we, I mean, we tell stories about our lives, it. so we're kind of we're used, used to, to it. it. We're used <laughs> to it. You know, asking us questions that we might not have said the answer to in a video is is not a big deal. No, not to us. Oh, I, I found can definitely him. see how other I people found him. might have problems. Oh, good shot. Oh, there's, there's another, another one. one. Crap. It's not up there. I was just up there. Okay. Yeah, I don't really have a problem with it. I don't know. Oh, are you going to tell people about the thing that happened? A special announcement that you didn't make on a video yet? <laughs> Maybe we'll wait until that actually happens and it's a thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it okay. is a thing. Well, it's not a thing yet. But it is a thing, though. It's going to be a thing. Right. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> Billy, uh, Billy yeah, Morris. We'll leave, leave them in suspense. Right. They're going to be, like, wondering. They're going to ask that in next week's Q&A. Yeah. Um, Q&A. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> um, Billy Morris asks, what do you, did you like? Do you like Superman ice cream and or Fago Red Pop? I love Superman ice cream. Superman ice cream. It's called two different things. It used to be called Superman ice cream, but because of copyright, they changed it to Superman. Is this just like the red, white and blue ice cream? Is that? No, it's it's yellow, red and blue. Oh. Yellow, red, and blue. Mm -hmm. You'll have to have it next time you come. Yeah, I didn't have it. No, he hasn't it had it. Seem, like, is it a certain flavor? Yeah, it's like a fruity-ish flavor. Oh, I locked okay. you out. I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh, wrong butt. 
Bye. I get the hint. Okay, so I need to get right here. Yeah. So the answer to that is I didn't have Superman ice cream. And he didn't like he didn't like red pop. And I didn't like red pop. No. I don't know why. Like I th I said this in that video because we made a video, and obviously if you're asking the question, you haven't seen the video. Right. But in the video, I said that it was a very childish flavor, and I'm not saying that in a derogatory way. I'm saying that like it's a flavor kids would like. Yeah. If I was a kid and if I had grown up with it. I would probably like it then and probably appreciate it more now. It's hard to <gasps> say. It's hard to say, but oh yeah, I see. I see the in symmetry. In yes, symmetry? it's That's... annoying. You know what you could have done? What? Is just change this back wall right here. Change this wall. Starting from like right here. Change it. To be like the ending of this tunnel mm, and then fine. continue the wall starting here it's fine code you ruin everything actually in asia apparently built this code said in it wasn't asia him. you ruin everything code said it wasn't him so i like the breaking into the i, I want this more Hold like on. if this Oops. if the uh, end stone were to like just like shatter into it a little bit you know you know you know, like this, like just like break into it. Do you have more endstone? Uh, I do. Here, I'll show you what I mean. And I might ruin an Asia's design, but I don't care. Okay. Okay. So, um, Cool Dog Forty Two asks if you can have any PC. What PC and why? I build my own PCs, so that yeah. would be a really long. Yeah. Question. Likewise, I mean, unfortunately. <laughs> Not unfortunate. I mean, that is that is the reality of things, and I think yeah, most it's like there's no brand. It's just yeah parts. Um, I mean, a person could say like, I want an Asus PC or something, but I have all different things in my computer, so yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really make sense to say that if you've built it yourself because so many different brands and stuff. The thing is that even even with PCs that were made by say like HP or Dell or you know, those kinds of things. A lot of them are made in the same factories anyway and by the same manufacturers. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got the big hardware manufacturers like Foxconn and stuff that make the chips. And they'll put their chips inside of any brand. It doesn't really matter. It's And nobody really is the wiser. Um, you can buy five HPs and they'll have chipsets inside uh, from a hundred different brands. You know, it's like... Five different brands for five different PCs. It's just that way. So even then, like, don't focus on a brand too much. Yeah. When people are saying like, "Oh, I don't like, I don't like Dell because I've never had a good one, or or I've had I had one that broke on me or something," it's not gonna be the same five years later. Nope. So. Hey, anyway. Chevy Nerd <laughs> asks, does Poet slap Mr. Mocking Cow off camera? No, of course not. He's my best friend in the world. <laughs> That's After kind of win. A weird question. Yeah. Um, do I slap do I slap you off camera? No. no. It's not what friends do to friends. I'd slap back. Oh. <laughs> Your butt. Okay. No, Mr. Mocking Cow does not get slaps off camera. That is a fact. <laughs> uh, Gabriel oh, Game weird. 11 asks, will you both be doing a playthrough together, just the two of you? On, of We've game? talked about it. Yes, we're trying to find the perfect game and or map. Yeah. 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 That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. That's, yeah, we are. I would like to. And so would win. Yes. And we've talked about it many times. And it's just we got a lot just, of things going on right now. It's just now that we're finally starting to have time to do this type of thing. Yeah, because of announcement that I have made. Yeah, so ask a question why. <laughs> what? <laughs> what and why? What and why? Um, next question is... Uh, Hold on. Dr. Professor Toby asks, what is your favorite book series? 
Um, gee, series. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have one. Harry Potter. No, it's not my favorite book series. Oh. My favorite book series is by an author called Jim Butcher, and it's called The Dresden Files. Oh. Yes, and they are amazing stories by a wizard I, named Harry Dresden. I kind of liked stuff by like. Tim Clancy. It, it sounds so lame because it's so typical man. Oh, I locked you out again. I didn't know you were out there. Hi. Hi. I loved things like um, not just Rainbow Six, but like all the all the stuff with I don't know. It, it's I let. It's not really a series though. But uh, what was that guy's name? Jack. It was, no, not Jack. I have no clue what ja you're talking about. Jack Ryan. Jack Ryan. I have no clue. So there's a series of books and a series of movies. And uh, I, I really like Jack Ryan. <laughs> Long story short, he likes yeah. Jack Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's not really. I wouldn't say that it's a series though either i don't read a lot of series i don't read a lot of books but i don't read a lot of this series especially i read a lot of one-offs this pattern looks weird right here what what about it uh, okay never mind it's because i keep expecting there should be another end block yeah right here. An, yeah right there that's it should be an end block no 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 what this should be an end block. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it should be. Do you have one? There we go. There. That's better. Yes. What are you doing? Giving you end blocks. <laughs> you could oh. just give them to me. You're such a butt. You know that, right? I know. Yeah. But you love me. I do. Okay, um, <laughs> what? It's forced. It's forced. Uh, Tomotsu Cowley asks, what are your top three anime series? Anime series? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the end, or I'm going to go this way. Kenshin, go Trigun, and, and the original Dragon Ball. Done. <laughs> my top three, my <laughs> Such top an old man. Top number one Can has to be... Can you name something for, out of the 90s, please? Sword Art Online has to be my number one favorite anime. Okay. Um, After that, I don't know. I don't watch a whole lot of anime. Ouch! Oh! It's hitting me. What's well, hitting you? I'm scared. I hear a guardian. Yeah, an... We are that close. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. What? Um, I don't know. I don't really have any other favorite animes. I mean, I'm watching, or that one, what was I watching? I don't know. Oh, I liked uh, Chobits. Chobits. Chobits? I like Chobits. But like Sailor Moon? <laughs> oh, Sailor Moon is definitely one of my favorites. I, like I the old one. admit. I the may movies. be a man, I may be a man, but I did like Sailor Moon series. I don't know why. Apart from all the lovey-dovey, you know. Darien stuff. Yeah. Mamaru. I did like the premise of it, of a superhero fighting team like Power Rangers, but not. Yeah. Um, and there was never a, a, an anime that featured men in the same kind of way. Ooh, I, I don't feel. know. I think actually Madoka Mad Madoka or the Puella Magic Girl Girls series, I think that might top actually Chobits. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. But I was always a fan of like the the classic animes, I guess, too. If I if we want to go like the movie animes and stuff like that, like Spirited Away, are th those oh. are series, those are movies though. Yeah, those are those are still anime though, I would say. I don't think I have any lapis here. Do you have any lapis? Nope. It's uh should be in this chest here. Yeah. Good. Um yeah, if you go movies then probably anything by Studio Ghibli. Yeah. I think Spirited Away is my favorite movie anime. It's pretty good, yeah. Castle in the sky, how's how how's moving castle or whatever it's called. I got a power three. Um There was one specifically that was my favorite. And oh, I, I don't know why I can't think of the name right now. 
Oh, we got an Infinity One to book. One too. Do you want it? An Infinity book? No, I don't Infinity need it. One. I don't need I got... it because my bow has Infinity on it. Yeah, mine too. I'll go put it back in the area. Um. Um. Did you know arrows bounce off this wall of Enderman? Ouch! I hit myself. I'm on fire. <laughs> Unbreaking. Put power. I should enchant a book. Is there, there a book go. there to enchant? Yeah, oh, they're here. I got them. I'll put them back in the chest. I don't want to lose them here. Okay. Okay. What's the next question? I will get it as soon as I am done um, putting things back in here. There you go. Next question is... Amanda Wolf, favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and why? Donatello, he does machines. Michelangelo, he's goofy. He's the party dude. Yes! I love Mikey. He's adorable. Yeah. Did you know Raphael is cool but rude? Cool but rude? Yeah. <laughs> what about Leonardo? He leads. Yeah, that's that's all he's got going for him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Light Mist says, Q&A Friday, love me. Okay. All right. Didn't um, take much to convince me. <laughs> Maddox Stevenson asks, what is your favorite song? Um, my favorite song? Your favorite song. Of all time? Of all time. Mm, Stronger Every Day by Chicago is still one of my favorites of all time. I think I'll still say that. I think um, a song that I never, ever get sick of after listening to it is Dexy Midnight Runners Come on Eileen. Really? Old. Yeah, I love that song. <laughs> all right. I used to go to a club and we used to dance to it. It was like uh, everybody would everybody dance to it. Get away! Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't like. I. I am a Chicago fan, and then not at the same time. Like they've got, they've got good songs. They got bad songs. But some of their songs are really sappy. But there's that song. That song of theirs, I just listen to again and again and again and again and again. I don't know why. It's one of those songs where when I can sing along to it so well, I just love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Isaiah Rexing asks, or not Isaiah. Um, Thomas Kirkham asks, where do your names come from? Isaiah asks nothing. Me, uh, my parents named me. No, your name Poet. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't name you Poet. The Dictionary. The Dictionary, really? Yep. That's seriously why you named yourself Poet. What? The Dictionary. Um, yeah, I'm inspired by words. <laughs> Mine actually comes from uh, a nickname or my brother when I was growing up. I'm pr very, very pale. And my brother used to say that I made snow look tan because I'm that pale. Mm. So mm -hmm. winter, <laughs> snow, winter I think frost. Beth is giving you a run for your money, though. Why? She's pretty pale, too. I don't know. Yeah, she's pretty pale. I've actually been outside. And I'm pretty pale, too. Like, we're all very pasty people. We're very pasty people. Like, I think at one point we were having, like, who has the whitest arms competition. <laughs> I think I failed that because my, my driving arm's pretty tan. Everybody was, like, holding out their arms, being like, oh, my God, look at how white your arm is. Yeah. It's blinding me. So, yeah, winter and, of course, you know, regular. I usually make usernames that are spelled differently because then you can have them. I mean, winter yeah. is going to be taken right. everywhere. Like the W-I-N-T. Yeah. So I just changed mm -hmm. it so it, it still pronounces winter, but yeah, it doesn't, you know, it's missing. Right. That's, I mean, for me, Poet was kind of like this hacker name that I used to have. It was stupid. I, I know. I know. It sounds so childish and stupid now, <laughs> but... You're like it, it came from the days where we all had what were called quote screen names. Mm -hmm. They don't call them that anymore, but we all had screen names. Yeah, I had one too. Kids, right? Um, on things winter. on different chat programs because what happened? See, it sounds so geeky. Let me man. sit down. And you could tell a story. Yeah, okay, let me tell you a story <laughs> about history as the moon <laughs> caresses the sky. 
<laughs> um, back in my day, we came from a chat. Like chat programs were brand new. Like yeah. the internet was just starting to be a thing. I think and for chat everybody. programs, they didn't really know how to make them work very well to identify people. Um, so programs like ICQ had numbers and IRC had, you could have any kind of nickname you wanted. Mm -hmm. um, but things like AOL really developed the screen names. Like only one person can have it. Only one person can have this name. And that was how you... you were unique. Were unique to other people and how they knew that you were you. So my screen name was always Poet and... Uh, Beyond that, like when I was part of different hacking clubs uh, of the internet days, you know, we were on message boards uh, talking about different games we were hacking, different programs, things like that. And we would hack them not for good, not for bad, just kind of for fun. Um, we're naughty. not talking about like breaking into a bank or anything, uh, but like <laughs> what people now call modding, right? Yeah. We called hacking. Because that was the only thing that was available. You had to hack a game in order to change it. Look at all the bad things out there. No, they're good things. They're they're keeping the cows company. There's a torch out there you missed. I know. But I can't get it now. <laughs> um, I, I've had so many usernames over the years. Like, I think my oldest one was Pixie Jinx. <laughs> so, Poet was mine for so long. I mean, since the 90s, for sure. Yeah, in the and '90s, I was Pixie Jinx. It's that just how, me. it's how you would sign your code. It's so dumb, but like, it, like it all sounds so ridiculous to me now. But it was cool I, back I then. It. Yeah, it was so cool. It was like watching the movie Hackers and believing it was real. <laughs> how, or like, The Matrix is the best modern mm -hmm. one where they all went by their names. Yeah, Neo and Trinity. I was poet. You know, like that's just how we associated ourselves and, um. Yeah, I can still remember a lot of friends of mine who I never knew them by their real names back then either. It was all just our hacker names. Our the, one I had, names. the one I had right before I chose Winter was Lyris, and I got so sick of people calling me Lyris that I just stopped using it. <laughs> it was supposed yeah. to be like Lyric, yep. but with an S. So. Well, here's the thing, though, that Lyric I thought was... Well, no, never mind. What? How do you pronounce it, though, in the mm. ancient Greek? Because I'm thinking of the lyre instrument. Yeah, but I wanted it to be like lyric, lyris. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I hear Code Wing got his name very similar to me in that, that it used his... to be his hacker name, yeah. <laughs> He's an old man. He is too, yeah. Uh, so. Austin Sisney. And then Poetendo is just something I came up with because for the same reason when Poet wasn't taken or yeah. Poet was taken. If Poet was ever taken, I just put Poetendo. Now, unfortunately, because of YouTube, Poetendo a lot of the time is taken. And now <laughs> even then, Piet Neto is getting taken. And it's like, <laughs> oh my win. God, let me be me. <laughs> Please be yourself. That's my only advice to people out there is try to get something that's unique to you. Don't, yeah. don't, don't take try to Poetendo. pretend to be somebody else. Don't take else. Winter. I mean, that's lame. Just be yourself. Austin asks, asks a question that's actually pretty cool. Oh? Will you ever go to Canada to see Poet? The other questions were uncool. Yeah, they were all uncool. Yeah. Lame. Yes. Will I ever go to Canada to see Poet? I don't know. Yeah, how about like in two weeks? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sold. Wait, where'd, you, where'd you go? <laughs> Sold. Yeah, that is that. It wasn't the <laughs> announcement or anything. By no, the way, no, 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 no. no. Um, okay. but yeah, we we she yeah mm -hmm. yeah more to she's come. Coming, she's to coming come. to visit me. Yeah, but yeah. just for a week. Only for a week, but that's fine. I mean, it's we get to be nothing. together. Yeah. The end. The end. Right. So. Yeah. Yay! I'm I'm super excited. Um. Quinky, Quinky Dink asks, if unicorns and Pegasus had a baby together, what would they be called? That's a, I know the name of this too. What is it called? A winged unicorn. What is that called? Unicagasus. Winged unicorn. <laughs> a pegacorn. <laughs> what to call a winged unicorn? I don't know. Hold on. They're called alicorns. That's what they're called. 
I knew alicorn. it. Alicorn. Yeah, that's what they're called. Alicorns. Okay. That's what you call them. So that's what you would call it? No, that's what the internet calls it. Oh, well, what that's... would you call it? I would call mine... I would Roberta. Call... <laughs> Roberta. I would call mine... Fancy. Wow. Maybe fancy. Like the like the cat food. Mm -hmm. Not fancy feast. Fancy. <laughs> 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 yeah, I would name mine Fancy Feast. <laughs> um, Quest Masters asks, if Wintendo is a thing, why not make one for MK and Sigils? Well, that's awkward. Let's not talk about that. No. Um, Taylor Gaming K asks... Oh, that's... I think it's okay to tell people the answer to that, though. That they, they are no longer together? They are no longer together, yeah. They haven't been for like a year. And it's for a very long time, but it's yeah. obviously... Uh, the reason MK doesn't talk about it is because it's very, very personal to her. We yeah. don't mind talking about our relationship, but some but people... I'm not going to talk about other people's relationships. Exactly. It's not my place. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me see here. Somebody asking, why do we pick Winter and Poet for YouTube names? Oh, Aurora asks, why did you guys decide to call your server Time Shot? Uh, because it was Time Worn. Yeah, well, no, we took mine, Poets, and Liam's names. We scrambled them up, and it was oh, right. actually Time Worn. And we right. really liked Time Worn, but it sounded kind of worn out. Right, so. so we went on a name generator is what we're saying. That's how Basically, bad we were. Basically, we were, it, took, it took us forever to come up with a name. We were sitting server. in a call for like two hours trying to come up with a name. <laughs> and finally, we resorted to a, na a name generator, which combined all three of our names. And then we took one piece of that, and then... It was modified another and it was time shot so yeah i mean it's it's kind of like we came up with it on our own and not yep but i think that it's it's very unique and i like it i like it uh mm -hmm. the fluff cat asks uh poet who's your favorite doctor who you know what the new one he likes the new guy i do you love peter capaldi he, peter capaldi is actually like he's such my character I love him to pieces. <laughs> He's a crabby old man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He's your I character. love it so much. He did. We were watching the I mean, latest I just, season of I Netflix. I just love how he thinks he is so incredible. Well, that's all the without, doctors are like that. Without saying it, though, and while being bluntly rude to other people, I think that that is just <laughs> it's you. It's the totally funniest you. <laughs> thing in the entire world. <laughs> it's poet is yeah, an old but, man <laughs> i mean that's the thing is that it's just it's completely right up my alley <laughs> humor wise totally and i just i think that it's really good i really yeah. like him i do like of course the 10th doctor david, david tennant. tennant but at I the wasn't same a big time fan of smith neither was i um i lost and, interest with smith and uh, what was the other guy christopher something Christopher Eggleston. Yeah, Eggleston. I wasn't a fan of him really oh, I, either. I was madly in love with him. So that's <laughs> that's that's why I hate him. Actually. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Jealousy. Uh, yeah, exactly. Jealous streak. Uh, but no, I like the new one, don't you? It's, it's really I good. I do I do sort of like him, but I miss the whole I miss Tenet. Ten nobody's ever going to be as good as Tenet to me. No, so. that was pretty unique, and for a very long run too. Yeah. Big so. shoes to fill, and I don't think they could be filled. So, uh, Fluff Cat asked me, Totoro or Pikachu? Totoro. Totoro. He's cute. Who? Ask me, Totoro or Pikachu? Oh, one of the two? Yeah, pick one. And uh. I just said Totoro. Because he's adorable. Question, though. What? I mean, <laughs> like two so you can't, totally can't different really things. really compare them. Yeah, one's a Pokemon, one is not. It's, yeah. Um, let me see here. Um, Dr. Professor It's Toby. like asking us what's better, King Kong or Indominus mm. Rex? <laughs> what's your favorite food or foods? Pizza! What? Um, Pizza. My favorite Sushi. type of vegetable is eggplant. What do you would like I've to eat the most? I'm curious about butternut squash. What's your favorite food to eat? <laughs> lasagna. Your lasagna that you make is that my. That crab spinach my, lasagna? Yeah. I, I gotta admit to everybody that mm. even if I'm big food snob <laughs> and I like fancy food that you eat in like three hundred dollar plate dinners, wins egg uh, eggplant. It I was, was almost gonna say it was crab. Spinach wins lasagna. crab spinach lasagna is my favorite thing in the world. 
<laughs> he honestly. ate so much of it. Too. I <laughs> ate like I went for like three helpings, and then like at night I was like contemplating going to the fridge again. It was just I couldn't it. stop. I love so. how we're using this as a parkour. Yeah, it kind of is. It's this become is the, a parkour. <laughs> it's trying to get onto the glowstone. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to do. <laughs> I didn't even realize I've been trying to do that. Um, Austin Sassini asks, would you, allow, would you vote to allow Drew on the server if he applied? Um, well, I don't of know. course. I think so. I, I think, think I would. I think yeah. we would have to vote on him. It's only fair. We don't. I'll be honest. We don't vote on everybody. We we do have applications that we just turn down. Yeah, because they um, have to first get through Poet and I, and if it's unanimous, then they move on to a server vote. Yeah, I've had a few people um, ask that same question, and I don't think that we would just say no out of no. respect more than anything. I like Drew. Yeah, I would exactly. totally. I would probably say yes. Hero Brian's mansion. Yeah, we need. When's the third one coming out? <laughs> yeah, let me just go ask Hypixel. Well, you're friends with them. It's only been two years. But uh, yeah, I, I know that there are a lot of people from Red Cube days who um, people have asked about. And I'm making it to the crafting table. Whoop. We we have the exact same mentality now as we had when Time Shot started. Is that we are not meant to be a rival server right we didn't open time shot to compete with them and in doing so we never ever ever despite us having a load of red cube members now we never went out of our way to ask anybody from red cube to join nope uh and that still stands as far as i know so drew we wouldn't go out of our way to ask he would have to ask us yeah you know? So Jennifer uh, Nugian asked, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you love each other? Uh, spinal Tap cranks it to 11. 11 billion. Yeah. I mean, that's... Infinity. When you love someone, there, there's, there's no... There's no number. Number, right? No. Exactly. I mean, if it was anything below 10, that's not love. You know? 42. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, I brought my towel, so I mean, <laughs> we're good. Um, Brody Collie asks, "What are your favorite animals?" Um, I don't know. I like the domestic, you know, dogs and cats and things. I like unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, I like Godzilla. <laughs> Uh, if has to go, he didn't say not mythical. <laughs> right? I think that's generally implied when people uh -oh. ask what your favorite animal is. My favorite animal would probably have <laughs> Are to Are we speaking be... of the, the griffin? <laughs> A liger. <laughs> hey, the phoenix is my favorite. Um, I like dogs. Dogs are my favorite. I'm just really? allergic to dogs. them. Yeah. I don't like cats as much as I like dogs. Really? I just so have you're two. Having two cats. Well, I couldn't afford a dog, so I got cats. Okay. I want a dog eventually. I, I would pug. definitely. I would definitely. Yeah, a pug would be cute. I, I definitely would like to get a new dog eventually. I, I mean, would like a pug. Obviously, I'm. I'm still getting over the loss of my dog, but oh. I think that in the future I could foresee me getting another dog. It wouldn't be. I've had lots of dogs in the past. And, yeah. I've had one dog in the past, and I had to get rid of her because I was allergic. And I I've couldn't had a Samwide. I've had a German Shepherd, a Greyhound, two Huskies. Wow. And my my Enzo. I've had a lot of pets, but who not is a mystery? Dogs. What he is? <laughs> he was adorable. Yeah, he was an Affin Pincer Bichon Bichon mix. Blah, blah, blah. I want a purebred pug. That's what I want. A pug would be cute. You got to yes. watch their breathing, but well, I know, they can, but if you take that can be expensive. But, but yeah, you take care of it. They're fine. They're cute. Um, run like a boss, uh, or run like a boss asks, "Are you guys planning to do another role play?" Oh. Huh? Role play here. Role play. What do you mean? Like JFC. What about JFC? Nothing. They make the chicken, you know. <laughs> Nothing, poet. Huh? You know, you know what makes better food? What? Tux tacos. Yeah, I know. I saw it the other day. It's amazing. <laughs> I tried to order, but nobody seems to be taking my order. No, this sucks. This All sucks. I can afford is water. Water. Yeah. Well, I can afford. I can buy you uh some nachos. 
Oh, okay. But nobody's here to take my order. Well, I can, no, you know what? I got five Hakos on me. <laughs> um, I'm patient. <laughs> Kate Black asks, so retaliation is coming to you. Jake Wynn and Poet Wynn, right? What? No. Mm -hmm. Um, Isaiah Rexing asks, would you go to Indiana with chickens? What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> would you go to Indiana with chickens? What? I don't know. Indiana with chickens? I don't know. Sure, why not? I don't think so. No, I'll say no. Amelia Driscoli asks, what are your You're thoughts? You're not going to get me with your chickens, Indiana. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the newly added alpha predators to Ark Survival? Um, eh, I don't I'm, know. There's I, enough you know things what? that are to, It's just one more thing to kill no. me, basically. You know, yeah, you know what? It's, it's a point of rant for me. And I think everybody and their dog is sick of me ranting about okay. Ark. Let's move on. How I think that they've just... It was better left alone, and they're adding... Every single thing in the kitchen sink that people ask for. And it's just like, you got to stop, guys. Listen, dodos, get rid of them. Happy Puff asks, have you ever gotten noticed by one of your fans outside of YouTube or Minecraft? Besides any convention? No, besides any convention, no. But I actually got recognized a couple times at the Glass Convention, which shocked the crap out of me. Um, for me, I've actually been recognized in grocery stores. Wow. And uh, my brother once, uh, I gave my brother uh, uh, some advice as to what camera to go buy because he was thinking of doing YouTube videos for uh, just music and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he went to the camera store and the camera guy at the store said that his, his daughter or sister or whoever it was also was a fan of mine. Wow. Um, so, I mean, recognized, I, I did get recognized once or twice, twice actually at grocery stores. Um, usually by fairly little kids. I don't get recognized. Yeah. Maybe I will once I, I dye my hair teal. Like the, <laughs> the weirdest one is I was I was in the the um, meat section, you know. <laughs> meat section. Yeah, you know the meats. Okay. What is that called? It's not deli. Um, pro not produce. Um, no, it's not produce. It's deli, I think. It's not the deli though. The deli is like sandwich meats. Eh. The meat stuff. Okay. And I was like looking for pork chops or something, and I was deep in thought because I know nothing about pork chops. <laughs> and okay. this kid came up to me and asked me if I was poet. And it was it was weird though because I'm trying to buy pork chops, and it's not something like I'm not. I'm a in, different person when I'm when I'm not in the real world. <laughs> I guess kind of. It was the first time that someone actually like really associated me like when I wasn't involved in a recording or online or YouTube or gaming or a convention or convention or anything task. Here is me in my civilian clothes, buying civilian products, being a civilian. <laughs> and I didn't really win those UHCs. What is that? Nothing. Oh, did you see the crypt we're working on? Yeah, I saw Fabe's video. You didn't see my video? No, because you had linked me Fabe's amazing video. Don't you remember? Yeah, Fabe did this thing with like a rotating three, 3D camera. The replay mod. So there's a downside to this place being dark. Ah! <laughs> that would be the downside. <laughs> Fabe, we have a problem. <laughs> They're coming out to kill us. <laughs> well, I thought you guys lit this up. No. There were torches in here last I saw. Man, that guy's got a punch bow. Did you guys want to keep this dark? Um, yeah, we want to keep it dark, but you see there are areas like this. Why don't you use redstone torches? That they can spawn on. Redstone torches don't keep mobs from spawning. Oh, okay. You gotta put down half slabs and stuff. That's what the floor is, but oh. unfortunately there are special areas like this that they can spawn on, and they do. 
Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, um, actually, I think that's it. Really? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So definitely like if you guys have liked this video, it's pretty long probably. Um, Very. <laughs> like 40 minutes. Leave some comments down below for some questions for next uh, Q&A Friday. And I will see you guys on Monday. Bye. Bye. Bye.